I'm quite excited because I haven't done this for any of my clients. A few sound chimes. Okay, so take three nice long breaths and the energy that surrounds you. That is felt in years gone by. All the way to the foot, but abundantly down to the crown. Just helping to balance. And then sealing the energy and taking three nice long breaths. The, the bright white one in the corner yes. of this eye here. Yes, okay. That's really good. <laughs> Jodie! Hello! Welcome. Hello! Give me a hug, darling. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How yeah. are you? I'm really well. And I'm looking forward to giving you a double treatment I know. today. Yeah, so we're doing hoppy ear candling and Reiki. Yeah. I thought we might do the hoppy first. Yeah. And nice. then just chill for the Reiki. Yeah. I haven't um, had Reiki for ages. Have you had it with me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Once, I think, yeah, yeah. but a long time ago. Right, okay. Yeah. And I'm quite excited because I haven't done this for any of my clients before, mm. but during the Reiki, like towards the start, I'm going to be introducing a few sound chimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Um, which are a little bit ASMR y, so yeah. that's sort of tingly, yeah, that. tingly feeling. Yeah. Um, and then I might give you a little bit of guidance with the Reiki, but there'll be a lot of silence as well, just yeah. to completely chill and go into your own space. Yeah, that yeah. sounds nice. Okay, so take three nice long breaths. And just inhale the essential oils of rose and petty grain. Flowers that will help you relax and send you to a beautiful place. I'm just tuning into the energy of the room, my energy, and the energy that surrounds you. Immediately. It has activated, I can feel like a dynamism, a power, just feeling into the white light that comes down to the top of your head. It's quite a thick, vibrant white light. I can feel it's quite tangible and palpable today. It has an amazing abundance to it. And 
this is your energy. This is yours to own and use. Amazing feeling. So at the moment, simply tuning into white light. And there may well be a feeling of the, the light in, in the presence of a feeling that touches the crown of the head, down the sides of the face, across the shoulders, down the arms, maybe even into the palms. And it may, may be felt like a tingling sensation. And the white light continues down the throat, across the chest, and down the torso, down the back and spine, and it is felt in every cell, deeply into the body, and continues around the hips, down the legs, knees, shins and calves, ankles, feet and soles, all the way to the toes. White light now covering, embodying and fulfilling the whole body. It is felt like a gentleness and yet very present. Feeling into Reiki at an emotional level. Feelings, emotions, happiness, and colours may come. eyelids. It may be felt to the sides of the head, into the throat, into the ears. There may be a warmth and a softening, creating a flow of gentle energy. And now introducing Some beautiful chimes.
these are the chimes of fire and air. These are the chimes of earth and water. And all of the energies of the earth, the air, water and fire are now balanced and creating harmony within Feeling a wonderful tranquility in the organs of the heart, kidneys, liver, spleen, lungs and also to the brain. 
wonderful tranquility. where the organs and brain instigate a feeling of relaxation deeply, deeply letting go becoming heavy and succumbing to a profound healing Reiki. distant Reiki that is felt in years gone by, in present times and in future years. It is also felt wherever you may be at any time that you can tune into this sense of Reiki and healing whenever you want to. Just tuning into the Vishuddhi Chakra chakra of the throat of blue dust, the blue colour of water, freedom, breath. enjoys a deeper sensation where the conscious level is able to succumb and the unconscious wealth of availability opens up during Reiki to reveal so much more consciousness. There is a wealth of deeper meaning to oneself that is available in this subconsciousness. Opening the throat to freedom. And tuning into the heart chakra at Anahata. Feeling become warm, receptive, able to receive love 
and to give. Giving more and more power to the Reiki where it's needed. Feeling the warmth, massaging the aura. And now down to Manipura, the solar plexus chakra. Which is feeling open and just starting to warm. Quite often there'll be chakras that need a little extra attention in order that all seven are balanced, working together in harmony. And of course, the solar plexus is an abundant sunshine yellow. That's better. Tuning into that feeling of coming home, feeling blessed within oneself, content just to be. Feeling into sacral chakra, bright orange around the hips and lower abdomen.
area, a little warmth. Linking, connecting with the sacral chakra. Connecting with the inner child of laughter and fun. Smiles, spontaneity, allowing the body to feel that contact. The inner child is reaching out. as if it's yourself at an early age. Wrapping a warm, woolly, orange scarf around the hips and abdomen. Help connect the inner child and that sense of frivolity, gregariousness and fun. base chakra, Muladhara, also called the root chakra because it's found at our root, at the base of the torso, underneath us. It's the source of life, the source of our energy. source of how we started. Beautiful red energy of fire, warmth, determination, resilience and strength. Massaging into the chakra, warming, giving it some tweena. Just gently touching near the base, tuning into the source of life. Just touching into the legs, feeling where the energy is coming down the legs from the torso, extending the harmony and balance that Reiki gives us.
bringing the energy further down the body, down the right side. Really feeling that warmth and energy as it comes down all the way through the shin and calf. the soles of the feet, calling the energy all the way down from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. The whole body and all of its aura is bathed in the most glorious light. Colours may be seen behind closed eyelids. There may be a sense of a white light and then merging within the white light. There may be several separated colours. Perhaps of magenta, of indigo and purple. Of blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. the ankle of the shin and calf to the left knee there is felt a tingling vibration of a profound energy making its way from the body all the way to the foot healing as it travels, creating harmony and balance. And then from the knee to the thigh 
on the hip. So that the whole body is now doused with the most beautiful white light. back up to the chakras, tuning into again the root chakra, red energy of survival. chakra once again. Svadhisthan. Bright orange. Wonderful. Harmonizing. Connecting with that beautiful little girl, the inner child. Once again at Manipura, yellow solar plexus, deeply connecting to a sense of joy, a sense of self. Just at that upper abdomen area, above the navel. Sometimes the area can feel quite tight and constrained, but at the moment it feels soft. At the moment it feels soft and calm. And into Anahata Chakra, the beautiful green energy that is felt deep within us in the chest. love.
And now back to Vishuddhi, throat chakra. A blue energy of freedom. Feeling that cooling movement of breath as the inhale goes down through the throat and the warmed energy as the exhale comes out past the throat and out of the nostrils clearing, cooling and warming Beautiful feeling there. Hmm. There's quite a lot of energy here. Hmm. It's quite high. And back to third eye chakra, the Ajna, just in the forehead, deep within and in front. It can be seen as a purple or indigo colour, connecting us with our intuition. clairvoyance, our mentality and that sense of knowing that we just know things deep in our consciousness. Mm. Really strong pull like a magnetizing sensation coming down to the ashna. Just feel a need to put a crystal to the ashna. It might feel a little cool. Rested on Ashna. That's really helped. Helping to calm the mind. Coming back to a deeper level of consciousness. Affirming to oneself, I am calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. And back to Sahasra, the crown chakra. Tuning into the white light that is abundantly coming down in a gentle manner, but abundantly down to the crown, around the body and through. Amazing energy. Really tingling. Now coming back to the root chakra for the last time to tune in, make sure all is well before I semi-close the door to the chakra 
That's good. That's good. Now to the sacral chakra, feeling what the energy is telling me. It's all good. It's a lot calmer. It's in tune and in harmony. Giving it a final boost of energy and half closing. Now to the solar plexus chakra Manipura. Oh, it's lovely. Very happy. Yellow energy. and a heart. Much love. To the to Vishudi. Tuning in, feeling that warmth again, equalising the energy, balancing. That's good, that's good. And back to Ashna third eye, purple light. Calm and relaxed. And Sahasra, the energy. Quite big here. There's a lot of energy moving. Gorgeous white white light, it's palpable. Just helping to balance, finalize. Calming, calming. That's good. And then sealing the energy, holding the energy in underneath, above, to the sides, below and on top. All is held, ready for a beautiful rest of the week. I'm eternally grateful to the Reiki guides and angels. Thank you for the energy. Thank you to the universe. To Mother Earth.
keeping your eyes closed and taking three nice long breaths. And slowly sending your breath to your feet and your fingers and gently moving, stretching through the fingers and the feet and then turning into the ankles and the wrists, maybe into the shoulders and moving into the body and if you feel like it bringing your arms up over your head for a whole body stretch you feel like it. Maybe not. I'll just move the stone. Oh, that's warm. How are you feeling? Very chilled. Yeah. Mm. Did you have any sensations during the Reiki? Um, no, I definitely switched off. When you were talking about the light here, I did see the white light there. Oh. The, the bright white one in the corner yes. of this eye here. Yes. Okay. That's really good. Um, but yeah, I did switch off, definitely. I think you probably needed to. Mm. I could feel quite a lot of activity. Yeah. At particular places. Mm. So, um, your third eye here, which of course is the brain as well, it's our thinking, was quite busy, understandably, but it really calmed, and what really helped was the crystal. Oh, that, yeah, I did feel a difference when you put that on. Yeah? Yeah. It was like pressing a button. Mm. Just like a dimmer switch. Yeah, it was, it was good. Brain. And I just felt this need. It was like you were telling me, I mm. think I need something there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and when I was talking about connecting with the inner child, were you aware at that point? I don't think so. No. Okay. No. That's good. That's all right. Because mm. in that case, I was talking to your subconsciousness. Mm. I was definitely switched off then. Lovely. You're making little movements and I think you do that when you've switched off. Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good. It's, it's a compliment. So do you feel ready? Are you driving a long way now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you feeling okay to drive? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah? Yeah. You feel ready to move? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. I'll just take the cover off. Oh my God. Would you like a glass of water? Um, yes, please. Yeah.